Hi there, this is Groovy and G, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back on Audio Finder, and I'm actually responding to a comment by a user on YouTube with regards to using a hard drive with a lot of samples on it. I think they said they had two terabytes of samples on it, and they were having trouble a getting Spotlight Search to scan the samples and also just figuring out the best way to bring them all into Audio Finder so they can be easily searched. So I think we'll touch on the Spotlight Search part first. The Spotlight Search in Audio Finder is directly related to the Spotlight Search on your Mac, so it's, it's just running through the same program. So if a hard drive is not showing up in your Spotlight Search here, so I've got a dummy, if I go to this folder, I've got a hard drive where I've just put some samples on, a blank one. And if I copy this name and I go into the Spotlight Search and type it in, here's the original and here's my copied one. So it's actually, and these are in both my hard drives. So if I go Show in Finder, it's going to show you that one's in my hard drive too and this one... If I go back, is in my SSD, my music SSD. So mine are running fine. Now, before, one of my hard drives wasn't showing up. So what I did was I came into my system's preferences and I re-indexed that hard drive in my Spotlight. So it's actually very simple. All you've got to do is click on Spotlight, come to Privacy, and then you just drag... Drag the folder you want to re-index into privacy, so it's in here, and then you just take it out again and quit. And if I go back to Spotlight, now if you've got a bigger hard drive, when you will see a little like line, a meter line here, where it's, it will say re-indexing library, or something that I remember it having a little loading bar, and it might take ages if you've got a massive hard drive. So I would do that first of all if you're having problems with something not showing up in the Spotlight Search in Audio Finder is that it's just using this Mac Spotlight Search, it's just running it through the program. So that's where you want to go to try and get your files to show up in Spotlight Search. Okay, now on to the next bit with regards to getting a massive library of samples into Audio Finder and the best way to do it. So there's a couple of options here which I'll go through. I think the problem is if you've got a hard drive like this you can see it in device browsers and I know I've got that SP sample inside it but if I press enter here it's not going to show anything because it actually doesn't search the subfolders and folders with the key search. What it will search is the visible one so if I type in SP1200 it's just going to show me now just this one so it's only searching things you can see when you're using this kind of folder search what you want to do is actually get the samples imported into audio finder and so we're going to go through that so one of the easiest ways is to actually drag in this one i've got a kind of nicely stacked where i have a top folder and, and then subfolders underneath so if your system was like this you could just drag this folder stack onto device browser and then you see now I've got these options under library I've got this option scan folder stack and that's the name of the folder so you want to hit scan folder stack and now it's going to scan through that all that folder and all the subfolders so it's got them all in this big list now okay and then the next step would be to take this list Okay, and if you're doing it with a lot of samples, you're going to have to just wait when you do, you know, when you press Command A to select the entire list. You're going to have to just be patient. And when you're clicking and dragging, you're going to have to be patient. I think you you might want to split it up into a few different sections. I've never done more than maybe 20 or 30,000 samples at one time that I've been selecting. So I think if you're, you, the program's going to struggle a bit when you're doing a, a huge amount of samples. But what I would do now is select this contents of this scan folder. And I've been through how to create empty sidebar lists and groups. But I would create, say, a new sidebar group. 
and this has come at the bottom and double click in there and I'm going to call it tutorial HDD and then in the sidebar group I'm going to create a new empty list and that's going to come up into you see I've got a lot of it. it's going to come up into saved lists so you've got to rename it in save list okay and then you drag the list into the sidebar group I know it seems a lot of steps but I've obviously got so many groups and lists on my hard drive it makes it look more complicated than it is and what we want to do actually is select the scan folder select all of it command A and then drag this into an empty list so this will mean whenever I quit audio finder and I come back to it it's gonna have this list so if I quit it now and then I load it back up okay so we're back in and I come to the bottom I've got my saved list there but you see I've actually lost my scan set so the scan I had before has gone but the saved list is here with all my samples in it that I wanted so now I could come and key search this list and find exactly the sample that I'm looking for so that would be kind of the, th the easiest way I think not going outside the program to get all your samples in is to use the device browser scanning and then dragging them to a new empty list okay so the second way which may be more practical for you is because I can't drag my entire hard drive into device browser it actually doesn't let you drag it on there and you can't drag it from inside audio finder what you can do is you can come and go scan set setup under library scan set setup create a new scan set and let's call this tutorials okay and then you go edit scan set and you click add and in this menu you can add individual folders or you could add the kind of top-down folder but you can also just add the whole hard drive if you just select the volume itself and I could say remove these other ones and now I've got a scan set of that entire hard drive so if I click OK okay you're gonna have to forgive me because I actually made a bit of an error when I recorded this before so I'm just cutting in here and what happens when you create a scan set is it actually we've just created this scan set and it will create this option to scan this so you will always have this if I quit audio find and load back up it will still have this scan set there so I can always rescan this folder now the problem is if this is a massive folder then you don't want to always have to be rescanning it you just want it to be in audio finder and that's why you've got to drag the scan into a list and once it's in a list audio finder won't be scanning it anymore every time you load up so that list will always be in there and audio finder won't have to be rescanning that folder every time you log in so that's why you want to you want to take it from your scan to a list now I also realized that when you're selected on these hard drives up here you can actually you see when I change it's actually changing this the ability to scan the selected file now this works for folders but it also works for drives so if you've got a hard drive and you can see it in your device browser then you can actually just select it and then if you hit scan it'll start to scan and this has got loads of stuff that isn't all audio so it's it's kind of skipping out the audio but once it, it finds audio it'll start to add them in a list here so if your hard drive is showing up in device browser you can access it that way if it isn't showing up in device browser for whatever reason you've got the other options that I showed you before either dragging folders onto device browser from your finder 
you can drag folders straight on and then you'll be able to scan them or you can use the scan sets and you can actually just drag your hard drive from your locations on your Mac into the scan sets. So I hope that clears that up. What's also very useful is to come under library and column view options and to enable this parent folder column which is going to show you where the files have come from it's going to have the folder the folder names and you could bring these in say here it makes it a lot easier to search through as you can see the folders they've come from if for whatever reason you, you've been struggling to get your hard drive working and re-indexing hasn't done the job you can use the database search as an alternative now the database search in audio finder is going to search any of the files that you've added metadata to so all these lit these files that I've dragged in here because I haven't actually added any metadata yet I haven't put anything in in the tags I haven't rated them nothing like that if I search this if I search this blank for MS in my database it's actually not going to show anything if I search it in my spotlight it will show up because my spotlight search has been finding those files but it's not going to show up in my database search so if you want to be able to use the database search for searching all the samples you've brought into a list you've got to add some metadata now you could as simply just select a bunch of files and put number one in the notes or you could like this I've just put one bit of information in the notes but because I've done that it's now brought them into the database search and so now when I hit this database search it's actually got all these files are now in the system so I've shown you how to scan the files into audio finder and how to drag them to an empty list and once you've got them in an empty list you have two options really I think you can either just click on this list where you've got all the files in it and just key search this for samples and do it that way and by doing that you don't actually have to do add any metadata to any of the files or you add metadata either in the form of putting something in, in one of these columns here or by tagging them with a specific tag and then you can use the database search to search through your whole system you can also use the spotlight search if that's working for you and the re-indexing has helped bring your hard drives back online. Okay, well I hope this has been useful and has helped some of you overcome the problems of importing lots of samples from hard drives into Audio Finder. Let me know in the comments if you have any more questions and catch you soon on my channel. Thanks for listening.